They gained uh, a huge popularity and are used in many uh, spheres. In um, that's why uh, they have uh, many uh, engineering problems, and uh, they often use autonomous navigation. And one of the key aspects of that uh, navigation is the path planning. So, uh, for different kind of missions, different path planning methods are implemented. And uh, for our project, uh, we. Uh, designed a path planning algorithm and simulated uh, specifically for uh, fixed, in, fixed wing UAVs, uh, which will obviously avoid obstacles, but uh, besides static, they will be also dynamic and unknown. And we tried uh, to come up with an idea uh, that uh, the uh, algorithm is computationally uh, inexpensive. So here are uh, uh, some of the most popular path planning algorithms. Uh, the most used one is the A star. Uh uh, a star is used uh, in many cases because uh, if there exists a path, uh, it will always find it. The second algorithm is the Voronoi diagram. Uh, this uh, path planning method is uh, usually used uh, uh, to consider the safest path because, uh, as we can see here, the, um, the red dots are the obstacles and the lines are the uh, possible paths for which the UAV um, or, or other road is capable. And as you can see, they are as far uh, as possible from the dots. Uh, the next algorithm is the rapid random trees. Uh, they are good for uh, a complicated environment and they uh, mostly find uh, a goal uh, also in the 3D environment. Uh, and the last one is the artificial potential field. Uh, in this um, this um, path planning algorithm is beneficial when we try to uh, ca come up with an uh, inexpensive uh, solution for the path planning. So what are the challenges? Uh, in our case, uh, since we are um, implementing uh, the algorithm for the fixed wing UAVs, we have to consider their limitations. For example, uh, it has a limitation of re turning radius or speed limitations, both upper and uh, lower, or um, it has uh, thrust limitations and flight altitude. So uh, we try to fit in, in these uh, limitations. And the other problems uh, that are more about the path planning is the obstacle detection itself and uh, the computational complexity um, uh, because um, while uh, uh, UAVs uh, fly, uh, they, um, there exist ongoing many processes and uh, the path planning should not be that intensive. So uh, for the static uh, obstacles, uh, the algorithm that we use is the rapid exploring random trees. Uh, it takes a point in the environment. Um, basically, it creates a tree from um, points in the environment. It takes uh, the current position of the robot and then a random point and connects uh, that random point to the nearest node from the tree. And uh, if uh, it does not detect any collision with the obstacle, it includes that in the tree and from that we, uh, it's, mm, that tree expands in the environment and um, something like this is uh, created. Uh, and when the tree reaches uh, the goal, uh, uh, the algorithm, uh, the algorithm um, takes a, a path from the, uh, that node. Uh, here is a, simu a simulation of that algorithm. As we can see, it is not the most optimal one because, um, as we can see here, it does some unnecessary turns, or for example, in this case. And uh, to solve that problem, uh, we, we've done smoothing. Uh, we took that tree and um, extracted uh, different paths from there and calculated the shortest uh, path and took that path. Uh, and as we can see as a result, um, the path smoothed. And um, this is the data of the heading angle. Um, the first um, one is uh, for the unsmoothed path and the second one is for the smooth one. So we can see uh, that in the first one, uh, the heading angle transitions are way uh, bad, uh, worse. 
Um, the second algorithm that is used is the artificial potential field. Uh, this algorithm takes uh, the goal, um, takes the environment as a potential field. The goal, uh, the goal point uh, is the attractive potential and the obstacles are the uh, repulsive potentials. And from that potentials, it calculates um, forces um, that mm, the resultant force that act, um, that is calculated acts on the robot, or in our case, on the UAV. And uh, from that, it uh, can move uh, further. Um, it is the mm, simple uh, implementation of the R uh, APF mm, algorithm. However, it has a very big drawback, uh, which is trapping uh, in a local minima point. Uh, what is that? Uh, when uh, the resultant force equ uh, equals to zero because the attractive and pot uh, pot repulsive force is equal to each other, there is no force that can act on the UAV and uh, move the object. Uh, so for that problem, uh, we came up with our own solution, which is not reported. Uh, it takes the uh, attractive and repulsive vectors, uh, calculates in the first two rows the um, um, horizontal uh, angles of them, and in, in the second two equations the um, vertical angles, and by giving them gains for the attractive and repulsive forces, uh, we come up with the two equations. Uh, the first one if is for the heading angle, and the second one is for the flight path angle. Uh, and as we are doing path planning for the dynamic obstacles, uh, we needed to predict its future position, uh, and it is, by it is done by the uh, by method uh, based on the Markov chains. So it um, collects data about the obstacle uh, initially and then predicts uh, the future of it from the probability. Uh, so uh, I've talked about the RRT, APF. Um, RRT, as you can see, uh, as, as you saw, uh, was for the uh, static obstacles and, no, um, and um, APF is for the dynamic ones. Uh, so uh, if uh, a UAV does not de detect any dynamic obstacle, it uh, goes through the waypoint of the RRT, which is calculated before the flight. And uh, during the flight, if UAV detects any dynamic obstacles, uh, it uh, calculates the next position of the UAV using the APF algorithm. Uh, and then if no um, obstacle then is detected, it uh, continues the flight with the static path. Uh, this helps not to have any uh, ongoing uh, calculations during the flight if no obstacle is there, if no unknown obstacle is there. Uh, so this is a demonstration of the algorithm with the dynamic obstacle. So the red line is the path um, generated by the RRT and the um, green one is generated by the APF when, the, um, when it detects an obstacle and uh, it goes to the right because it um, detects the obstacle from the left. So um, the repulsive uh, force that, um, that acts on the UAV is from the left which moves the, it to the right. Here. Here is another example of it. So to conclude, uh, an RRT uh, uh, method is used for the static path generation and uh, another modified APF uh, method uh, is used for the scenarios of the dynamic uh, obstacles uh, and uh, this is done because of the local minima problem that we have with the APF uh, algorithm. Um, so the um, and uh, one more benefit is that uh, by tuning the gains uh, of the modified APF, we can get a smooth uh, obstacle avoidance, which is beneficial for fixed wing UAVs, not only for fixed wing UAVs, but for many m objects uh, that have some physical limitations of moving. 
and for future work, uh, as you saw, only um, um, only in one environment uh, this uh, method was tested. So another method, uh, um, another environment should be considered uh, for uh, planning uh, for for testing this algorithm, uh, also including uh, weather conditions and um, hostile environments. And uh, more dynamic obstacle behaviors should be considered, uh, not only that <coughs> ones. And um, more of the UAV behavior should be examined. And finally, uh, this algorithm should be tested on real world, real world scenarios. And uh, I want to thank uh, my supervisor, Dr. Hracia Kocherian, uh, who helped me a lot uh, during this project, uh, and uh, Alexander Hakopian for uh, being interested in everything that we do, <laughs> and to my peers, because um, this could be very hard be, uh, without them. Thank you. Do you continuously compute a new path, uh, always going towards whatever the rest of the terrain was? Yes. Or do you, so that's how you do it? Yes. Uh, and then finally you return to the yes, path? Yes, and when I return to the path, static path and there is no dynamic obstacle, it continues. And no more computations. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about the computational expensive or inexpensive? I think early in your talk you had this as a criteria, am I remembering correctly? You had this sort of computational inexpensive. Uh, so the main thing that we considered is that in uh, when the UAV flies, there is n there are no computations going on uh, unless an obstacle is detected. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how uh, we came up with that. And also the, A the APF algorithm is very easy to implement. Mm -hmm. 